I think it's probably one of the most beautiful shows that I've seen in Glasgow. It's a visual extravaganza on stage. It's truly a feast for the eyes. I've been waiting all year since I saw the first model to get to make this and it has such beautiful scenery. Apart from anything else, I think there's going to be so much laughter just watching it. It's a Our production of The Mikado, designed by Dick Bird, is probably our biggest production this year and certainly the most challenging technically and from an art and design side. So we've got a lot of trick props, we've got a lot of um, severed heads and guns and goo, um, we've got some flying through the air props, we've just got a lot of hilarious things, nice surprises going on. Well, the Mikado is a very big show for us in the costume department in Scottish Opera. And it's a, a very exciting show. It's big in terms of numbers of people and it's big in terms of the lavishness of the costumes. The costumes are Victorian and Japanese. It's as if a British theatre company is putting on a production of the Mikado in the year 1892. And we are now a contemporary British company putting on this. So it's a Victorian British version of Japanese costumes. There's such a sophisticated level of design going on that it's meant that we've had to all cross our boundaries of each department um, and we're all helping each other out because there's lots of costume props. Some of our props need wigs and we need to look at how their makeup's going to be for the severed head just to make sure that we've got continuity between the real person and the dead head. I think perhaps you've seen uh, Marion and the human head that she's made. Well, of course, they cast the performer's features and then, of course, our wig department supplied a wig for the production. Wigs play a very important part and you will imagine that in the theatre you can have the artifice and not everything is looks what it seems. For example, <coughs> I bet you never realised this was a wig. <laughs> In opera, we have about six rehearsals in full costume wigs and makeup, and we often have work to do right up to the last minute. In the early rehearsals, I tend to be so concentrating on the costumes. I'm just looking at the hem lengths and the bodices and the, the wigs and everything. But as things settle down a bit in the rehearsals, and we get fewer and fewer little notes and changes to make, then I can sort of start to appreciate the piece as a work of art. And hopefully, by the time of the first night, I'm not worrying about the hem length anymore or whether people are going to come on in time from the quick changes. I can just enjoy it as a performance and laugh like everyone in the audience. Certainly, from a props point of view, you'll never be given the same thing twice. And it can be exciting, but it's also nerve-wracking and daunting. Um, but I think that's one of the reasons why prop makers get so excited because there's a slight adrenaline with that. You know that you will get there in the end and uh, the satisfaction. And I think we've had so much of that on this show that I don't think I've ever looked forward so much to seeing the final product.